we interviewed you when you left the club in 2007. I remember you saying, maybe I'll come back one day. Did you always sense uh, the back of your mind it might happen? You know what, it's, it's kind of weird. You, 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 I think Arsenal Football Club is the only club that made me come back and play, and actually did make me come back and play in Europe. I always said, and I, and I want to send a message out there to also my team, the Red Bulls and my fans there. You know, I always said I was never going to come back and play in Europe. Um, but it, it becomes hard when it comes to Arsenal Football Club with me, with, with my heart. And at the end of the day, I'm not coming back here to play the whole season. I will be back and play with my team 100% committed because I want to win the MLS with the Red Bulls. Um, but as I said to you, I'm going to go back to it. I know I repeat myself, but uh, as, as soon as I knew the plan, that it was only to help, since those guys are going to the African Cup Nation. I said, in the meantime also, I'm going to get fit and go back uh, to be ready with my team. So uh, I, 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 for me, it was a win-win situation. You know, I, I want to help. Uh, I want to help the club that I love and the club that I support, but I'm also going to come back uh, and be ready uh, for the MLS. You spoke about the changes at Arsenal Football Club. How much have you changed as a player? I mean, you, you're four years older from when you left Ar Arsenal. Are you a different kind of player now? Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm not 25 anymore, 24. You know, uh, uh, I'm not going to take the ball from the middle of the park and, and dribble past five or six players. You know, don't, don't expect that. But, you know, the awareness. Uh, it, it's kind of, I remember Dennis. Dennis used to be the main front guy at one point, and then suddenly he was playing a bit behind the striker. And, and if you have the awareness and see things before players, then you can sometimes get away with it, you know, not having your, your legs. I mean, when you look at Ryan Giggs, it's not the same Ryan Giggs that used to take the ball on the wi from the wing or take the ball from Dennis Irwin and dribbling past everybody and, and delivering a, an amazing cross. But what Ryan Giggs has is Ryan Giggs has is, is he can see the game. You know, he's always available. Put himself in a position where he can receive the ball alone, and then you will never lose your touch. And Ryan, Ryan Giggs has that. So that's that's what that's what I'm going to try to to bring to to this team if 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 I ever ever have to play. We had the statue unveiling a few weeks ago. Um, how emotional was that? Because we saw all the pictures of you. Cracking up a bit, to be honest. <coughs> I did, I did. Um, I, I've, I'm not ashamed to say it. I, I did, I did crack, crack up. I, I cried. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's almost, it's, it's kind of unreal because <coughs> should you talk, you're talking about a statue, and and here I am now, what two, three weeks after, uh, two weeks after playing again for Arsenal Football Club, you can clearly see that wasn't planned. You know, I, I. That wasn't planned. I, I, I didn't know that was going to happen. And uh, you can ask the boss. He said it himself. He, uh, I think he said it in the press conference before the game that he was thinking about it, but he didn't talk to me yet. So that happened really pre pretty fast. And, and it's kind of weird if you think about it. <sighs> the club did what they did for me with the statue, and, and that was that I still can't believe it, to be honest. Uh, um, and now I have to play. It's weird, you know, I have no word to describe that, but uh, also in me, it always has been a, a, a love story with some time, some bad days, and uh, hopefully people will agree with me. Better good days than bad days, but we had our bad days, but I just love Arsenal Football Club. I know we had the statue and everything, but when, when, when I'm ah, going to go back to it, when a club that you love are as, as asking for, for, for just, just to be a squad player, then so be it. I, I, I just love the club so much. It was what hard to say, to, say, to say no. But I will go back to what I said to you. As soon as I knew the plan of Arsene, I, I went along with it. We don't know the full parameters of the loan deal, but it's two months as far as we're aware. That's January and February. In that time, there's Manchester United at home, there's Tottenham at home, there's Champions League as well, if you're qualified for that. The old competitive juices may get going in those games. There's a massive game fit for you to potentially be involved in. I didn't plan that. Nobody did. It's, uh, it's crazy. It is crazy. Uh, now I don't know if I'm going to still be there uh, for the Tottenham game. Because as you can uh, expect, I also want to go back uh, and, and prepare my season with my team. You know, I just I, I don't want to arrive there and, and go like, hey guys, I'm back. When is the first game? You know, 
I need to prepare myself and being the team captain over there, you know, I have also um, some duty to respect over there. So, um, but we will see, you know, we're going to have to talk with our, our send when those guys from the African Cup Nation are going to come back. Uh, but the Man United game are gonna, definitely going to be around. As I said to you, I don't expect to start. The team is going to be what the team is going to be. Uh, but as I said to you, if, if I can give 10, 15, 20, whatever else and things I can give, uh, uh, also after the, the work that I'm going to have to do uh, with, with Tony and see where, where, where I'm going to be physically, um, then, then obviously. But just, you know what, just being involved again with Arsenal Football Club for, for how long it's going to be, we will see. Uh, it is just amazing. However I can help, I'll try to help. As I said to you, I'm going to repeat myself, but if it's five seconds, one second, zero, I have to talk in the dressing room, I have to, to I don't know, I'll, 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 I'll give my best, whatever it is. And just finally, rarely in sports you get this opportunity to bring a proper closure to a career. Your relationship with Arsenal Football Club has been something special for you, clearly, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, almost a unique opportunity to be able to have this relationship with the fans again and contribute to the club in any way. You know what, you don't even understand, just for me, being able to come here and train, uh, just uh, being around in the uh, in the dressing room, seeing all the guys that I used to see before training staff. Um, I have no word to describe that. So being able to be uh, to, to to just wear the jersey one more time, um, I can only be honoured. I said it so many times, you know, uh, and uh, it it is true. You know, people might think it's. Uh, I'm just saying that to be whatever, but I love the club. Um, when I left this club, I cried uh, the other day uh, for the statue. Uh, I cried. Uh, I didn't cry a lot throughout my career, uh, but every time I do, it seems that it seems that it happens when uh, when I have something when there's something happening with Arsenal Football Club. And and as I said, you know, I always try to be in my time here. I always tried uh, uh, to be honest. So I think the fan did recognize that, you know, and with me you see it, you know, when I'm happy, I'm happy, when I'm not happy, you see it. So I think the, the, the fans did recognize that, you know, you, they could read through me, you know, I wasn't acting or putting an act, you know, I, it's, it's, it, it's just me and, um, you know, I can be a pain at time, uh, but I just love the club, so at the end of the day for me, that's the bottom line, you know, they say love is blind, right? You, it's difficult for me to say no to Arsenal Football Club.